We have to stop the endless flow of secret, unaccountable money that is distorting our election, corrupting our political process, and drowning out the voices of our people. We need justices on the Supreme Court who will protect every citizen's right to vote. Rather than every corporation's right to buy elections. If necessary, I will support a constitutional amendment to undo the Supreme Court's decision in Citizens United. I want to make it easier for every citizen to vote. That's why I proposed universal automatic registration and expanded early voting. I'll fight back against Republican efforts to disempower and disenfranchise young people, poor people, people with disabilities, and people of color. What part of democracy are they afraid of? But no matter how easy we make it to vote, we still have to give Americans something worth voting for. <laughs> Government is never going to have all the answers, but it has to be smarter, simpler, more efficient, and a better partner. That means access to advanced technology so government agencies can more effectively serve their customers, the American people. We need expertise and innovation from the private sector to help cut waste and streamline services. There's so much that works in America. For every problem we face, someone somewhere in America is solving it. Silicon Valley cracked the code on sharing and scaling a while ago. Many states are pioneering new ways to deliver services. I want to help Washington catch up. To do that, we need a political system that produces results by solving problems that hold us back, not one overwhelmed by extreme partisanship and inflexibility. Now, I'll always seek common ground with friend and opponent alike, but I'll also stand my ground when I must. That's something I did as Senator and Secretary of State, whether it was working with Republicans to expand health care for children and for our National Guard, or improve our foster care and adop adoption system, or pass a treaty to reduce the number of Russian nuclear warheads that could threaten our cities. And it is something I will always do as your president. We Americans may differ, bicker, stumble, and fall, but we are at our best when we pick each other up, when we have each other's back. Like any family, our American family is strongest when we cherish what we have in common and fight back against those who would drive us apart. People all over the world have asked me, how could you and President Obama work together after you fought so hard against each other in that long campaign? Now, that is an understandable question, considering that in many places, if you lose an election, you could get imprisoned or exiled, even killed, not hired as Secretary of State. But President Obama asked me to serve, and I accepted, because we both love our country. That's how we do it in America. With that same spirit, together we can win these four fights. We can build an economy where hard work is rewarded. We can strengthen our families. We can defend our country and increase our opportunities all over the world. And we can renew the promise of our democracy if we all do our part in our families, in our businesses, unions, houses of worship, schools, and yes, in the voting booth. I want you to join me in this effort. Help me build this campaign and make it your own. 
Talk to your friends, your family, your neighbors. Text JOIN, J-O-I-N, to 47246. Go to HillaryClinton.com and sign up to make calls and knock on doors. It's no secret that we're going up against some pretty powerful forces that will do and spend whatever it takes to advance a very different vision for America. But I've spent my life fighting for children, families, and our country, and I'm not stopping now. looking so vigorous. And then we watch their hair grow grayer and grayer. Well, I may not be the youngest candidate in this race, but I will be the youngest woman president in the history of agree with me. I want to be president for all Americans. And along the way, I'll just let you in on this little secret. I won't get everything right. Lord knows I've made my share of mistakes. Well, there's no shortage of people pointing them out. Um, and I certainly haven't won every battle I've fought. But Leadership means perseverance and hard choices. You have to push through the setbacks and the disappointments and keep at it. I think you know by now that I've been called many things by many people. Quitter is not one of them. Like so much else in my life, I got this from my mother. When I was a girl, she